Hi, Bass Recapped here. Today I am going to explain a film called The Layover. Watch out and take care. In the opening of the film, we are shown the Kate who is an English teacher and she is teaching in class. And then she sees that a child is secretly reading a comic book. Kate picks up the kid and asks him to read the book in front of everyone. When the boy starts reading the book, Kate gets interested in the comics. But then the principal comes and sees all this. And he calls Kate to his office and indirectly asks her to leave the job. Then on the other side we are shown a girl named Megan. Who is a sales girl and she tries to sell cosmetic product in the company. But Megan is not able to sell the cosmetic product, so Megan goes from there in anger. When she comes out of the company, Megan sees that the policemen are taking her car. Because Megan has stopped her car in no parking. After that Kate comes home from school, then we learn that both Megan and Kate are best friends and they live together. And then Megan tells Kate how her day went in vain and not a single product was sold. Her car was picked up by the police from no parking, and then Kate also tells her that Principal has also asked her to leave the teaching job. Then the next day Megan picks up Kate at 4 a.m. and tells her that they should go somewhere. Kate tells Megan that they will talk about this in the morning, but Megan says that their flight is in three hours. Kate did not want to go but Megan had already booked the ticket so Kate had to accompany her. After reaching the airport, she sees that the line of checking was very long. And if she stays in this line, then her flight will definitely be missed. Then Megan looks here and there and starts flirting with a boy working there, and he lets them go ahead without waiting in the line, then both of them are in the plane. While sitting on their seat Kate sits on the window seat and Megan sits on the other seat because Kate was afraid of height, so Kate takes anxiety pill. After some time a boy comes and sits on the seat between these two, who was a firefighter and both Megan and Kate like that boy very much, and both start flirting with him during the fight, but due to taking more pills, Kate faints there then the captain of the plane tells that due to the storm in Florida, the flight will have to land in street. Lewis. The two then book a room at a hotel called Shelter in Street. Lewis until the next flight arrives. Then there the reception of Cloud Hotel informs her that his bag has been lost at the airport. After this, Kate and Megan both go to the lift to go to their room, and they see Ryan there. Megan tells him that her friend has a wedding, and ask him what he is doing there. So Ryan tells her that there is still few more days left for the wedding. Ryan then asks them if they can go out for drinks with him later, and they both agree to it. Now in her room, Megan remembers that her bag has been lost, so she asks Kate if she can wear her dress and go. On hearing this, Kate says that she only have one dress and Kate refuses to give that dress. Then we are shown that Kate goes to meet Ryan alone at night. So Ryan asks her where Megan is. Then Kate said that she does not know. While they are talking, he sees that Megan is coming there. Wearing the Indian traditional dress of Anuja's mother. Ryan gets surprised to see Megan because she looked so beautiful. Then Ryan receives news, that the storm has intensified, due to which his flight will be delayed even more. In this, Ryan gets depressed, and to cheer him up, Meg and Kate do dance competitions around him. Megan gets very excited while dancing and her dress falls down. So embarrassed by this, all the three hotels come back. In the hotel, Kate and Megan start fighting for Ryan. Then the next day, all three of them plan to go on a hot air balloon. But Kate was afraid of height, so Ryan thought and said that it is not necessary for us to go on hot air balloon. But Megan tells her that it doesn't matter. They can both go on the hot air balloon and Kate will go to the museum. Kate didn't want to let Megan go alone with Ryan, so she also agrees to come. As she stands in the balloon, Kate gets very scared. Then the man flying the balloon tells Kate that now they are at the height of 500 feet. And Kate gets very scared after hearing this. And then Ryan tries to calm her down. Then Megan opens the champagne bottle. And the cap of the bottle goes and hit on the remaining eye of the captain of the hot air balloon. Due to which his other eye also gets wounded. That's why they have to land the hot air balloon in the children's party. Then all three of them come to the hotel. Then Ryan decides to go to the pool. Now to impress Ryan in the pool, both of them wear very revealing dresses. Then to impress Ryan, they both put dives in the pool, and during this time Megan's eye gets hurt. Then the next day they both go to the cafe. Only then they sees that Ryan is going somewhere with a bag. They both go to him and ask where he is going, then Ryan tells that he is going to the wedding. After this Megan and Kate ask Ryan if she too can go with him, for which Ryan agrees. And then everyone starts going to the car and this car is being driven by a guy named Craig who likes Megan very much. On the way, Megan applies lotion on Ryan's hands. Kate gets jealous seeing this. So Kate shows the driver a childhood photo of Megan in which she was looking very strange, and they stop on the way to refill petrol. And Kate goes to use gas station bathroom. And she sees that the bathroom is very dirty. But she still uses that bathroom. Megan closes the door of the bathroom from outside. Due to which Kate gets stuck inside. Then somehow Kate comes out using a window. But during this time all her clothes get dirty. Then Ryan sees her and asks her what happened. Kate tells her that someone locked her inside the bathroom. After this, Kate cleans herself. 
and everyone starts going to the wedding place. On the way, Kate intentionally pretends to be hurt, and Ryan gives her a massage. And seeing this, Megan gets very angry. As a revenge Megan puts sleeping pills in the wine bottle, and she gives Kate the wine to drink. But Kate refuses to drink it. Then Craig snatches the bottle of wine from Megan's hands, and he drinks the whole bottle of wine. Seeing this, Megan tells Craig that he had been driving the car for a long time, he'd probably be tired. That's why she offers to drive the car, but hearing this, Craig tells Megan that he doesn't need anyone. After few hours all three falls asleep, and Craig eventually passes out and crashes the car, forcing the four to spend the night at a motel. Kate sees the sleeping pills in the wine bottle, after which, Kate books a separate room for herself in the hotel. Then after some time, Kate goes to have a cold drink, and she meets Ryan there. So Ryan says hi to Kate, that you were always with your friend, and I didn't even get a chance to talk to you in private. And then, by saying this, Ryan starts to kiss Kate, and then they go to the rooms and get intimate there. On the other hand, Megan is drinking alone in the local bar, and then Craig comes to her, and then both talk for a while. The next morning during breakfast, Megan says that we shouldn't spoil our friendship over a guy, but at the same time, mistakenly, Megan tells Kate that she was intimate with Ryan. Kate realizes that Meg had bang bang with Ryan as well and Kate gets angry, and they both start fighting with each other. Then in the midst of this fight, a cupboard falls on both of them, and the owner of the hotel calls police. Then Craig reveals to the police that Ryan had taken his car to reach the wedding on time. When he looks up Ryan's Google Plus profile, he sees that Ryan is the one getting married, and reveals this to the women. Appalled, they beg to be released to stop the wedding, and are let go after paying for the damage to the lobby. Then they reach the hotel in Fort Lauderdale where the wedding is taking place, they find they were too late to stop it. Then they seize Ryan and he starts running after seeing both of them, but they catch him. They tells Ryan that he had taken advantage of both of them. But Ryan says that both of they were flirting with him from the beginning. And Ryan tells them that I am with this girl since college. And ask them to not to ruin his marriage life. Now Ryan's wife comes there, and both of them see that Ryan's wife is very strict. She always suppresses Ryan and makes him agree for all the things she says. Seeing this, Megan and Kate wonder what could be better for Ryan, as he will regret a lot after marriage. Thinking this, Megan and Kate return to the airport. They learn that their flight is four hours later. So Megan goes to Craig's shop to meet him. There, Megan and Craig talk for a while, and then she kisses him. After this, Megan comes to the airport and tells Kate that maybe they should not live together anymore. That doesn't mean they won't meet anymore. They will meet more than ever before, and Kate also says yes to this. She then goes back to school and tells the principal that she will not leave her job. Hearing this, the principal tells her that who asked her to leave the job, on the contrary, the principal wanted her to become the coach of the volleyball team. Kate agrees on hearing this. On the other hand, Megan gets into a relationship with Craig and the movie ends here. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more such movies explanation. And hit the like button to support our work. See you next time.